You know, Ed, mental preparation is extremely important in the branch and in the field. Can you share what your ideas of getting mentally prepared? Yes. Yeah, I, I think it's a mindset, right? We're, we're in sales, you know, we're going to get told no more, way more times if we're doing this right, way more times and people are going to say yes. So you kind of get, you kind of get, you got to get toughened to that and, and you got to be, your mind has to be right before you go out and attack the day, I think. And, and, and different folks do different things with it. You know, I'm not a big meditation person, but there's lots of people that are very successful, you know, by doing some sort of meditation or some sort of reading every morning. I happen to watch a bunch of YouTube videos in the morning, right? But, but I think what it comes down to is, is a couple triggers maybe that used to work for me. Um, for instance, when we posted the board in the office in the morning, I would literally, and it drove my boss crazy, I would shine my shoes in the office while we're doing the, the sales meeting. And he got accustomed to it, and God bless you, Jay Fusco, for putting up with it. But it was kind of my, my time to get my head right and my game right. You know, after I left the four kids at home with my poor wife, and you know, she was going off to work and the kids were going off to school, it was that little bit of time I had to, to kind of get my head right, that the game was gone, you know, and that, so just that simple shoe shining. Right. You know, I think it helped me in front of the customers when my shoes were signed, but that's another story. It was all for me mentally. And then, and then I think the other thing that, that, that I would encourage everybody to develop is kind of that trigger, you know, as we're bumping along and you know, we're walking into five or six or 10 businesses a day, we're walking into, you know, four or five homes every day, you know, doing inspections and setting it up to find some sort of trigger in your life. And, and mine was really simple, you know, keep it simple for stupid, right? My trigger was when I got out of the car, if I was walking into a business, I just kind of, you know, I don't know what the ladies will do. Maybe you can figure it out and help me figure it out. But I would look in the mirror. I would pop my tie up tight, get it tight. And I would just look at myself and say, it's game on. You're the best salesman walking the planet. Go win this business. And that, that's what, I, I think we got to find some sort of trigger. You know, that you, you see the pro athletes getting ready for games right. and they're listening to different music and you hear all that kind of stuff, motivational stuff, or maybe it's headbanger rock or whatever they're listening to. That you find that time to be mentally prepared. So you kind of, not shut the world out, mm -hmm. but you focus on what you're doing. And, and it got so crazy in my house that, you know, it, it, this is almost embarrassing to say, but I, I didn't even know what the gas bill was. I didn't know what the electric bill was. And I didn't know that at times we didn't have money to pay some of those. And my wife kind of shielded me from that. But, but at the same time, I just didn't want it kind of filtering in because I got to go win every deal I can and I got to be in that positive mental state. Again, maybe way too deep in the psychology of things, but, but find yourself a trigger. Find yourself some time in the morning to kind of, I don't know if it's decompress or compress, whatever, whatever you want to call it, but get yourself mentally ready for the day set some time aside and say, you know, I got to go to work. This is what I'm doing. And then I think, you know, before you pop into every appointment, before you walk through that business threshold, before you walk onto that front porch, you find something that says, I got to bring it because I know that when I walk in that door, I'm going to want twice as much money as anybody I'm competing with. And I think if you approach it that way mentally, I think you'll be, you'll be better off in the long run. Makes some sense. It's kind of crazy, huh? That is absolutely great advice, Ed. <laughs> That's great advice. Again, it's, some of it works, some of it doesn't. But I think find your, find your own space. Find your own find your old preparedness kind of, right. kind of ideas, right? Good enough? That's great.